Hey, what's going down? It's your boy Bruce Bang. Right now, we're at Mix Houston. You're rocking with Beat Finders TV. What's up everybody? We are here now with Bruce Bang. He let us in iMix Studios. This is his threshold, his kingdom. He let us in here to get an exclusive interview behind the scenes of what really goes down. So thank you so much for letting us no in. No problem, anytime. So tell me a little bit about like how you started. Like what made you come in Man, here? Man, I started um, basically, you know, just like anybody else trying to be an artist. You know, like um, I had some friends. We had like a little R&B group and stuff like that. And um, I played piano. So, you know, we needed beats and stuff like that. So I was basically, you know, the person that had to make the tracks and stuff like that. And just kind of evolved little by little from producer, artist, to engineer, to, you know. So tell me, like, between now, you've been how many years? It's been about 16 years. 16 years. What can you tell me the difference between when you first started and now? Like, the music. Oh, um, man, the game has definitely changed. I mean, um, back then, uh, there wasn't the internet, you know, it was it was hard to like uh, get music for free yeah. back then. Now basically people are giving away music, so. It's harder for you guys. Yeah, I mean, especially as a producer, like back then, you know, we could charge uh, $1,500 for a track. Yeah. And um, now it's like you pretty much have to give away tracks to these big artists because they get so many tracks from other producers for free. Yeah, basically it's kind of like networking because you know how they're not going to make that much money You're off right. of it as, as they did before. I, I get that. How did you start working with the big names that you've worked with? Um, it, uh, it all started, uh, I worked with a company called Southern Pride Entertainment and um, they produced for like Scarface, Ice Cube, um, like a lot of the really big legends like Ghetto Boys, stuff like that. Um, oh. So I was brought under their wing, you know, when I was about probably 20 years old, 19, 20 years old. And um, just the connections they had grew to, you know, where I am now. And um, just word of mouth pretty word much. Word of mouth, yeah, cool. Definitely. I mean, is there anybody that you remember saying, oh my God, like I'm about to work with so-and-so? <laughs> is there anybody else like you, you like myself? never forget? Yeah. Like myself? Because uh, I know there's always that one person you're like, man, I'm gonna stay cool. I'm not gonna act like, you know, they're yeah. better than me. Uh, but I'm like, oh my God, inside. <laughs> I'd say probably um, when, maybe when I met, met Pimp C for the first time, you know, I was kind of like, you know. This is happening. Yeah, like, man, yeah. this is Pimp C. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, uh, Scarface. You know, these are like legends that I grew up listening to, and now I'm like, you know, real humbled. You know, Working with them. Yeah, yeah, seeing them in the studio and stuff like that, so it's definitely cool. How does it feel to hear your music on the radio, and what songs are on the radio that people don't know? Um, I mixed uh, Slide Over by Baby Bash. It's featuring Miguel. Um, that's probably the biggest song that I've done um, that's on the radio. Happy Perez actually produced that one. You know, I just mixed it. Yeah. Um, that one, uh, what else? Um, there's some songs by from uh, Little O. Like a lot, a lot of the songs are kind of on the box. Like nothing on like you know major like 104 radio. But um, well, Slide Over actually was. Oh, yeah, that was. Yeah. The best but uh, you know, I, I mix mostly like rap records and stuff like that. So um, you know, it's it's not really as big as like the R&B record that you know has like potential to blow up. So yeah, I mean, I, I was telling you earlier that I can't believe that you were the one that made the song Little Kiki. Uh, uh, sugar Daddy? Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know. Like, like that's the thing. Like producers, they really don't get the recognition out right. there to know that that's the person who made that beat. So yeah. congratulations on oh, that. Oh, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah that, I mean that came out a little while ago. Actually, I had a little relationship with Lil Kiki. Um, people would buy features from him, and I would end up recording songs and stuff like that. So that's how I met Kiki. And then when he was working on his project, he was on Swisher House, and then um, you know we ended up getting some him some tracks or whatever. And uh, I ended up mixing that one too, but yeah, I did produce that one. So. Cool. For the people that don't know, what's the difference between between mixing, recording, producing? Right. Right. Like, tell me the difference between that for those that don't know what that is. 
Uh, I'd say probably just like the most basic thing, just engineering, just recording vocals. Um, sometimes there are engineers who record your vocals that don't mix, okay. and you know you'll go to a different engineer that's a mix engineer. Maybe they don't even record. All what they does do. mixing mean? Like blending? Um, mixing is kind of like taking, you know, you have your music, but you have like a kick drum, a snare drum, you have keys, bass line, and a mix engineer is basically mixing all those elements in the music with your vocals. Okay. Um, versus, you know, just pushing a button and record. recording. Right. Cool. And like then, what I do. Right. <laughs> And then, um, and then a producer, sometimes they're an engineer as well. Like they might actually be in there, you know, recording you while you're, while you're putting the song together. Um, and then some producers, they'll just make the track on it. Oh. And you know, a lot, a lot of times now, you might have a producer that's in another city. It's hard, you gotta send it and yeah. send it back and all so that. So a lot, you know, it ends up like a lot of engineers are actually kind of producing the song. They didn't do the beat. But they're, you know, telling the artist, you know, hey, uh, redo that. That wasn't very good, or you know, that do some more of that, or let's move the chorus to the beginning of the song. Oh, so now you have so, too many different yeah, so, ideas in there. Yeah. So I mean, my, myself, I always wasn't a mix engineer. I started off as a producer, and I was going to school for recording engineering. Um, so I went to San Jacinto College for that, and basically, um, as I recorded more and more and I produced, you know, I had to kind of like make the song sound a certain way yeah. and just because people would buy a beat from me so I'd record them, um, you know, do the song but I didn't really consider myself a mix engineer Okay. and um, just as I got further and further my skills started getting better and better. So now you're to the point where you don't, you don't make you don't make beats and send them out, you rather right. them come in here and yeah. work together because it's like that's your, that's your material. Yeah, that's definitely. Your I mean, especially in the internet now, I might send a beat to somebody and they just want to hear beats, but if they're in a different city, they can record to it, put it online, yeah. and I wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know that, so you so, don't do that. Yeah, I try to keep everything kind of in-house now. So that's a good thing, so artists can come in here and get everything done all oh, yeah. at once. Because you yeah. do videos too, right? I do videos, just kind of kind of dabbling in it, you know, I've, I've been doing that for past, the past year maybe. And um, originally just started off with getting a really good camera, just yeah. I, wanted, I wanted to catalog all the artists that were coming through. And um, just started playing with a little One by little. One shop. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, one of the people that gave me a chance was Baby Bash. Yeah. And I ended up shooting like five videos for the Playmate Mexicans project with uh, my partner Bert, Bert Trevino on the videos. So um, that was like a really big break for me because they got so many views uh, just from his name. So. Cool. So you've been here, how long has iMix Studios been at this location? Um, we've been on the southwest side for about a year now, um, okay. right off of 59 Hillcroft. And um, we used to be off 290 and 34th. Uh, for about a year before that. Cool. So, what can people expect when they come in here? I know. I, I mean, I've been here before, and I feel right. like a whole different atmosphere. I love it. I mean, for the people that have not been here, what can you tell them that? What What can they expect? Um, well, for one thing, we have two different rooms, so it's not just me by myself. I have a partner. Um, his name is His name is Stephen Townsend, and uh, he goes by Northside Stevo. Okay. He, he's really a big engineer in his own right too. He's um, you know engineered for Scarface. He got a credit on Two Chains last album, so um, you know it's me, my partner Stevo, and we have about four other engineers too. Okay. So cool. you know, just depending on what kind of music you do, you might vibe or gel with a different engineer, like yeah. whether you rap or you sing or you know. That's a good thing because like y'all can give it to not just one type right. of genre, not one, right. one type of artist. Y'all can work with everybody, Definitely. give everybody what they want. Right. That's cool. And also, you know, different price breaks too. I mean, because I'm, I'm more of a seasoned engineer, so I'm, I'll be a little more expensive than, you know, an intern. It's like visible changes. Like that. When you go in there, you're like, do you want the one that just started? <laughs> or do you want the one that's been in the game right. forever? Hmm, right. I want highlights by this person. No. Right. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, I, get it. I mean, so like I have a lot of regular clients. So a lot of times you got to work with another engineer first before I'll even get to you. Just yeah. because, I mean, like, we, we finish up projects all the time. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, we just finished up Player Man Makes Things Project with Baby Bash. Um, and he's, he just finished his album, too. So. How much time does a project take? Uh, it depends, because some people, they know specifically what songs they're going to do. And some people, they're just coming a song at a time. And here thinking, or, I mean... Yeah, um, pe some, some people like Baby Bash, like, he'll sit in the studio and kind of create the song while he's there. Yeah. Versus, you know, some people are at home, they write everything. But when you come in here, you feel something different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he'll, he'll definitely kind of hear a different vibe, and 
Um, sometimes he doesn't even know what he's going to work on when he gets there. He just has a bunch of beats or something like that. Yeah, so you basically have to have a lot of patience to be what you do, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's fun though. You know, I, I love creating. I'm, I'm very lucky and blessed in my position to be able to create music and just listen to music all day for yeah, a living. Yeah, so. fun. I would love that. Yeah. But that, you know, I, I'm doing videos too, so when my ears go out, you know, I can still be involved in music or something yeah. like that. Because I, I figure, you know, I can't mix forever. But, um, you know, I'm going to keep doing it until my ears fall off. To the artists that are upcoming artists that are listening right, right. now, um, what advice do you give them about how to get into the game and how to work with somebody like you? Um, man, you really, really got to be humble, man. That's, uh, the, the industry is really small and word gets around if you're, you know, if you don't conduct business in a certain way um, and you, you can burn bridges really fast. So number one is, like, be humble. Um, number two is... Uh, kind of find your team and you know find the people that you really gel with creatively because um, it's really hard to do it by yourself yeah you know definitely. there might be somebody you know just learn how to make beats but you know kind of build with them build yeah. a relationship and um, you know same thing like some like some other records you know you want to build that team so you know you don't have people like you know coming up with you and then disappearing or, yeah which is yeah you want to have that team behind you definitely so. yeah cool but thank you so much no thank problem. you so much for all that one last thing, what's your favorite part about what you do? Uh, favorite part? I say the favorite part is probably just like the, um, you know, the joy of hearing something you work so hard on, hearing it on the radio or seeing it on TV, um, just from the beginning stages, yeah. you know, that that's the best part for me. Like a prize possession, yeah. like forever, ever, It's, it's, it's a different feeling of anything. Definitely, I would, ever, yeah. I would think that, you know, that's going to live forever. Even yeah. when we're not here anymore, that music is always going to be there. That's right. cool. Definitely. And what is the worst thing about doing what you do? The worst thing? Or the hardest? The hardest thing is probably um, just really kind of finding the core group of people to work with because, you know, sometimes people are not serious. They might rap this week and then next month they don't rap and then they come back and, you know, it's like, people, you know, you get paid for doing the work, but sometimes your time is wasted because that work is never going like to never never be heard. Yeah, so. This Bang, iMix Studios, where, I know you have a website, tell everybody where we can find you and where can we hear all the other, all the stuff that you have done. Okay, um, you, can, you can check me out at brucebang.com. Uh, it's got a list of my videos, it's got songs that I've mixed. Um, it's got rates, it's got contact information if you want to get with me. Um, also got a Twitter, iMixBruceBang on Twitter, or Facebook, Bruce Bang.